Hey guys, this is number two on the slight series. Sorry, I was just making cards a few seconds ago. But anyways, today we will be covering one-handed cuts. Cool stuff. All right, I'm gonna be teaching you with my favorite cards. My one, one of my favorite decks of cards, the green cards. Okay. Now the first one-handed cut is pretty much the basic cut. It's called the Charlie Air Cut. So it looks like I'll do it slow. Okay. Now how to do that? First, you get into it's called X. First, there's mechanics grip. Okay. With your index finger on the top, your thumb on the side, and your middle ring and pinky finger on the your left. Okay. Actually, your right. If you're holding the cards, it'd be your left. Basically, what you do, this is actually uh, XCM grip, I think. Instead, the pinky, instead of the pinky being here, it's here, and the thumb would be right here, which is pretty much the Charlier position. So you have it here. Your index finger is here. Your pinky is here. Your ring and your middle. This is basically what you do: is you hold the whole deck right here, and you let go of these fingers and drop about a half of the cards from your thumb. And what you do is you bring your pinky back up to give support and you use your index finger to go under the deck, okay? So it pushes it up and it makes like a T, okay? And it keeps going. You keep pushing up and your pinky and these three fingers are support so the, the whole thing doesn't fall. It keeps going until it clears the top half. The top half goes down and you push down with your, your thumb. Okay, one more time. You're in XCM grip. Drop some cards. Pinky goes to the end. Index finger goes under and pushes up. Remember, there's a T right there. And clears it and goes there. Okay, that's pretty basic. That's pretty basic cut. Alright, the next cut is uh, actually going to take more practice. Actually, I've never seen anyone do this, ever, as a flourish. Okay? So, you know, we're just going to call it the ting cut. Alright? It's pretty easy, but you need to work on your finger flexibility. Okay? Here, watch. I have big, big fingers, but I've been working on my fingers for a long time. Look how wide they spread. Here, compared to a uh, deck of bicycle cards. That's how far. That's how far they spread. Okay, and it's not just because I have big hands, okay? It's an exercise, and basically you take your index fingers, and you just put them on your wrists like this until they spread out, and just go back and turn your hand back and forth and do both hands, okay? And do that every day until your fingers are very flexible and can be spread for, uh, apart very much, okay? Oh, also, on the Charlie Air Cut, start off with half the deck, okay? So then it's easier... And also, if you're right-handed, I'm not sure if the same thing happens with you, but if you're right-handed and you learn a slight, then you just completely lose uh, lose motivation to learn it with your left hand. I don't know, like when um, the, say the coin roll of coin roll, I can do it in my right hand, but my left hand, I just don't really like practicing with my left hand because. I, like my, I know my right hand can do much better, but my left hand, I want to learn my left hand, but yeah, but basically, just do half of the pack in each hand, okay, until you get it smooth and quick. Okay, now back to the other cut. What you do is you take your index and your ring finger, I mean, in your middle finger, and you put the deck right there, okay, and curl your fingers a bit over it. So this, the deck should be pretty secure. You should be able to hold it here. And shake it around, hit it, your your hand a few times. It should not be able to move. All right. Now after that, once you're here, you take your thumb. I'll go to your your view. You take your thumb from the, on the bottom left corner and grab about half the deck and start pivoting pivoting it around your index finger. Okay, it's your thumb. Pulling half the deck, pivoting around your middle finger. Okay, if you keep going, the bottom packet will move down. Watch. There it goes. 
goes down just by itself, okay? And then after it goes down, your index finger will go under the deck and just slide the top pack under the bottom the pack, okay? So again, your two fingers like this, your your uh, your hand, your thumb goes into the bottom left corner, slides off half, keeps going around your index finger, and also you can use your ring finger right here for support on the bottom packet so they don't fly everywhere. So it's here and you keep going and you let your index finger go under the pack and move and then you're back in XCM grip and you can do Charlie or cuts show off to your friends and get some chicks or guys here we go so in fast speed it looks like this it's quite impressive and also it's even cooler if you can do it with both hands now it's kinda hard to practice with both hands because the setup it's kind of hard to get it in both hands like like this but um that's basically it so um in every I'm thinking in every series I'm going to come up with a um with an effect to do like with uh, a cut okay now this trick I, I don't remember where I've seen it but it's called the one handed card trick okay uh, I won't be able to use these cards for it, but let's see. Give me a second. Here we go. Okay. So what you need is a deck of cards and a duplicate card, okay? In this case, we have two five of clubs. They're from different decks, but don't worry about it. The setup, put one card in your pocket. All right. Oops. And then put the other the other five on the bottom of the deck. Then what you do, get some double stick tape, Scotch Permanent 3M, I think. Or 2M, 3M, right there. It's yellow and black. Take a piece and you put it right on the back of the top card, doesn't matter what it is. Okay? So you have the fourth card on the bottom. What you do, you hold it in your left hand mechanics grip. Right there, and you riffle down with your left thumb, just pull down, and a little parts will come in. And you say, and the, also you have to master this the, the Charlie Air cut first, right? So you say, just say stop. And they do, right there. Basically, dig your thumb in there, okay? And get your pinky around until you're in XCM grip, but with your thumb under there. Basically, push, use your thumb to push it up a bit and use your pinky and in index to hold it up then with your thumb put it there and basically just do a charlier cut and you show the card they stopped at and that's the five of clubs okay which is actually the bottom card but in uh, actual speed it looks like this you say stop right there lift it up go under you show the card on um, this is the bottom card okay and the way you can do this is just leave your thumb there and just kind of lean the cards back so they fall against your thumb you show it put it back on top square up the cards and just push there okay and then after that just go through all the cards and um see that i can kind of feel it right there that's the five of clubs but you just go through all the cards they don't they don't find it or you can just spread them out if you know how to ribbon spread uh, i'll teach that later and then you go into your pocket you say look so in my pocket is one card, your card, the five of clubs. And this is a cool trick because you can do this completely one-handed and it is a mind boggler. Alright, so that is volume two of slight of the slight series. Next uh, the next series we are probably gonna go over some uh, color changes. How about the uh, the snap change?